dear students this video deals with the function of the large intestine so let's get started the large intestine is composed up of cecum colon and rectum now let's see diagrammatically this is cecum cecum is a blind sac that projects from the large intestine between ileum and colon so this is ileum and this is the colon and this sac like structure is the cecum this part is the ascending colon this is the transverse colon and this is the descending colon now let's see this part it's known as appendix at the blind end of the cecum there arises a finger like process called appendix it sometimes get inflamed due to entrapping of the food causing appendicitis so it has to be removed surgically in many instances the material that passes from the small intestine to the large intestine contains a large amount of water dissolved salts and undigested material now let's see this part it's known as rectum and this part is anus the rectum is the last part of the large intestine here feces are temporarily stored and rejected through anus at intervals in anus it is surrounded by two sphincters internal sphincter is of smooth muscles and outer sphincter is formed of stiff muscles under normal conditions as the rectum is filled up with feces it gives rise to defecation reflex children gradually has to learn to bring this reflex under control now let's see the absorption of water and salts the large intestine absorbs water and salts into the blood while the undigested material is rejected as feces the composition of fecal matter it contains a large number of bacteria plant fibers set of mucus cells mucus cholesterol bile pigments and water large intestine also holds a large proportion of useful bacteria that synthesize some vitamins especially vitamin k which are absorbed in the blood now there are two extreme conditions called diarrhea and constipation if the absorption of water and salts does not take place due to infection drug action or emotional disturbance a condition known as diarrhea occurs if this condition is unchecked dehydration develops that may prove to be fatal the other extreme condition is constipation and it is caused by the excessive absorption of water i hope this video was helpful if you like this video please like share comment and subscribe Thanks for watching. Wish you all the best.